Merry, Merry Christmas, beloved. These are the days of Elijah, days of Shiloh, days of Joshua, days of the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, when transgressed by wine, days of Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. Don't stick uh, your finger in your eye either. That's not good. But one thing's for sure, the first are last, the last are first. If you Google New Jerusalem, NASA, that is the photo of our celestial city on the edge of our universe. And in the same way Satan has been removed in accordance with Daniel 12, one of the first things, and the seventh trumpet of the book of Revelation has blown first. And because the first is last, and the last is first, and when the seventh trumpet blew, all nations immediately became the Lord, the Lord's and Israel inherited all of mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, clearly foretold this, because the Kingdom Age Covenant of Jeremiah 31, 1 was written correctly to Israel, because in these latter days now, he is the Lord God of all families of Israel, and all shall know him from the least to the greatest. And this extended over to all of mankind, because the promise was always written to all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. So we need to understand there's um, twisted deceptions of understanding. People have leaned onto their own understanding, thinking everything's got to be chronological. This happens, then that, this happens, then this happens. No, 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 no. And prophecy has never been told to tell the future, but to change the future. So it's time for love's power of wisdom to come forth. I hope it does, because we're going to be in deep doo-doo if people will not listen. So, praise the Lord, I got Mickey and Minnie behind me. It's been a, a world of festering fears and tears. Too long, perfect love can come and cast all that away. That is God living in each and every one of us, because He is love. Uh, those who love are born of Him and born again, <laughs> if we have our love moving as a child in motion. So know it's time that religious demonic spirits now abound because they're leaderless. But, you know, the word says that when you strike the shepherd, the sheep scatter and the... the <laughs> The demonic spirits left behind in the wake of the removal of the biggest bad boy of them all, the puny little heretic whom the world will look down into the hole and say, is that the little guy that caused so much trouble on earth? <laughs> One thing's for sure, re religious spirits do abound in this world, and the principalities of uh, atheism even are raising up all over this globe. So it needs to be counteracted with truth. And uh, so good versus bad, right versus wrong, love versus hatred, nothing has changed. And they're warring against God's grace by trying their best, uh, all demonic powers, to deceive his people into believing that this foretold word of his holiness is something wretched as a, even a most accursed heresy. Uh, woe unto God's brainwashed elect who can be tricked by laughing demons as they whisper words of judgmentalism, self-righteousness, pride, criticism, and legalism as all of those apostates ignore the prophecy of the dove that's found in the King James Version or the Jewish Bible of Habakkuk 2. It says, people, that the vision of God was written for the appointed time at the end, and he promised, it shall come. Surely it shall come. It shall not lie. You can behold he whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by his faith, even though he's transgressed by wine, even though he's an alcoholic. Because his soul shall be as hell and never be satisfied as he embraces all people of the earth unto himself for our risen good shepherd over all the flock of man, Jesus Christ Almighty, Emmanuel, God with us again soon.
And if it were possible, the just of God would foolishly be taken in by such ignorant folly, which was fathered by the father of all fast-fading fools before his untimely good timing removal, as it was foretold for these latter days. Woe to such cowardly souls who will let their most evil condemnation to overflow upon the dove of love's goodness herein. The inspiration that I have been reading was brought to be brought to me by the most regal eagle of the eon, and he was blazing with the Lord's goodness and beneficence and magnificence thereof in motion, poetry in motion. And all such enlightened children of rebellion are even intolerant of new praises. My God, people can't listen to a guy praising God. And what's this world coming to? Uh, if, especially if it isn't their holy book, because they might be listening to a false prophet, don't you know? It's all a bunch of desolate heritages, have we? Isaiah 49, 8, 4, 12. So it's time that the Lord, strong and mighty one, would come forth as a raging whirlwind of destruction to wipe it all away in accordance with Jeremiah's appointment to tear it all down, Jeremiah, not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of reason and logic that people already hate religion. Religion is dead on planet Earth, people. No one even wants to talk about it. Everybody's shut down by religion or views thereof because there seems to have been no common ground. The Lord is now bringing that common ground, which is the law of the commonality that will float all of our boats. So praise the Lord for the Lord's Islamic dove of peace that I am reading because I am the apostle unto Islam. Muhammad was also right, people, about one thing. Allah never had any son. Now hear me out. That was, is, and always will be his name, son of God. But was he a son of God? No. He was Emmanuel, God with us in the flesh, fully God. He was not a son. When you have mercury in three, four pieces, little beads, it's mercury. And when you put them back together, they absorb back into each other. And what do you have? It's mercury. In between, did it change? No, it was always mercury, whether it was together or apart. So too has been Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, um, water, steam, and ice, all the same. Joshua, Shiloh, Latter-day Daniel, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. I've had few if I start slurring my words a little. But uh, praise God, it's not important so much in a way what goes into people, but rather what comes out. And what you're going to get from me is love. And uh, so the Lord's Islamic dove of peace now wraps itself within the splendor of our Lord's coolest blue flames as he lovingly and folds wings of his brightest fire around it that's always ablaze with the mighty flickering like our dying circle of earth has never witnessed before. It is my job, people, to bring forth the vision of God so that the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as waters cover the seas, as grass cover the lands, as uh, sands cover the most desolate of deserts, and as uh, snow covers the Himalayas. It is time for his honor to be magnified, extolled, and lifted up higher than ever before. So listen now, O servants of love, uh, listen to the roaring of our majesty of majesties, who is our mad majestic holiness. He is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, and he is the carpenter of the ages who shall now tear down. The wheat and the tares can no longer grow together, as Christ said. So listen uh, now, O oh servants of the Lord, this is the astounding time for a most marvelous inferno of love to erupt as his wings also wrapped her uh, wings around many fiery blessings, which the Lord is now pouring out like a lava flow to burn some simple new truths into his faithful few heart, few's hearts 
uh, it's time for an attitude adjustment that will soon, for all those that will desire the Lord's hottest fires of passion to blaze away within their tired out and lukewarm hearts. It's time for a reversal of the curse, and it will only come by putting our love in motion. Alatra unto the highest heavens. That's a group out of Russia where people of all denominations or none, belief or none, it does not matter. They're standing together, forming a movement of goodness, and they're pouring money into this thing. And this is foretold in Isaiah 60 and 61, that money from all over the world would come in and uh, make this world as it is like Eden ahead of us. And the servitude of many shall soon be set ablaze by the Lord's most intense burning, hot, fierce, and emblazoned with gentle hues of the bluest flames imaginable. And as time marches on, that roaring fire of Zion, uh, the fire of Judas, shall become a deep burning like unquenchable coals all aglow. So arise now and understand well that the most powerful weapon in our universe is that of a grateful human being, a loving person who has been set on fire by the blessed things of their Lord God and for his kingdom of peace and for his honor, for his glory and for his living truth that goes before us. He has his way in the storm and the clouds of our hatefulness is as but dust under his feet for him to get rid of. But long before such transformations can change, we must know where we are. And I'm the only one on, uh, that's going to be able to tell you. The trial of all flesh has come. We're in the middle of it. It is COVID-19. And it has come to bring God's word of patience. And that is literal too. You can hear it at my other Daniel Owsley channel. So go over there. It's recorded several times there. It, it says the word of patience uh, manifested of Revelation 3.10. It's going to take God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation. Not to change by his love. A new understanding. Uh, and these are the days of amazing wildfires of many combusted flares and his chosen ones of all face or none shall see that their minds weren't vessels to be filled but instead many fires were to be kindled and ignited brightly within them if only they will let their heart be anew with new flesh new hopes new desires and just as a candle cannot burn without fire men cannot even begin to live without him who burns for his eternal life to come forth as a great explosion of his most fervent love, all aflame for all those burning for him. And since this end time uh, epistle exalts the honor of God made manifest, let all believers, whether Islamic, Abrahamic, Judaism, Christian, uh, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, all people, uh, Check out, go go down uh, 70 videos and, and, and hear the praises of all people of the world for God. They are all praising the same exact one. I don't care what the religion is. You guys have never heard praise until you listen. Uh, I think it was 17 hours of praise. All praise. No one wants to listen to that kind of shit. <laughs> Except me. So praise the Lord and pass the ammunition that's here at the Daniel Owsley channels. These are the only latter-day mountain ever to come upon earth of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4. And we must beat our sword into the sickle of understanding that he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his own reaper, as Amos 9 clearly has said now that that has manifested. This is the latter-day mountain of meat that Christ foretold in Matthew 24. He asked, Who shall come and feed the master's household of meat while the master is away? It is the mountain of good food at uh, Isaiah 25 foretold for the latter days. Uh, because all the food at the tables of all the religions in the world have gone rancid says the word of God. And it's so bad that 
the God, Lord God says unto all of his priests and ministers, he says, if you do not exalt that which glorifies my love and my kingdom, I'm going to take the shit from your feasts and I'm going to rub it in your faces. Malachi 2, in preparation for his message of his word that prepares his way. And that word is, I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts. And beyond that, no one shall ever need to be taught of me anymore, says the Lord. For all shall know me, of all people of the world, from the least to the greatest. For he is love. And as we were little children, with our hearts alive as a verb, all of us have known God. Every single one of us, even if we become uh, atheists later on because we never understood anything. And know that since this end time epistle is, is exalting our beloved, let all believers of love now treasure the, magnific the magnification herein of his magnificence because it's his beneficence. He is the Lord God of always who has now arisen through his messenger as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. This is the best Christmas that ever could be. For the just shall come to know that God alone deserves all of our worship because he is the absolutely only force on this earth that could cut time short. Just as Jesus said in Matthew 24, 22, no other way to cut time short except by the word of God whom Christ alone is. Will you listen? Because if you don't listen to him through me, this world shall be destroyed with the destruction of the, every inferno of hatred going off at the same time. Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, this world shall not be have any birds or fish or mankind left upon it. Isaiah 24, it will be a world in three, four pieces never to rise again. Deuteronomy 18, 18, all that not listening to one like Moses, a kingdom age covenant giver and a writer, their only death shall be ahead. Malachi 4, 6, that if the hearts of the fathers turn to the children and the hearts of the children turn to this father, this earth shall not be hurt, but otherwise nothing but total destruction. The total destruction of this world that has been foretold again and again. We got to get with the program of love or we're going to be loveless because there won't be none of us left, I guarantee you. I am Elijah.